Again, let's take a look at this question, still on dynamics of motion along a straight line. And uh, these questions are extracted from past uh, Wahe Kanjame uh, uh, questions, past questions. Now, a body of mass 50 kg moving at a speed of 3 meters per second in rough horizontal floor is brought to rest after sliding through a distance of 6 meters on the floor. We have to calculate the coefficient of sliding friction. How do you calculate this? Using Newton's uh, second law of motion, that is the resultant force or decelerating force equals to the product of mass and deceleration. Okay, remember I told you in my first video that uh, this F also means deceleration, which I mean decelerating force, meaning that A is deceleration of the body. So I need to find A using one of the equations of motion. And uh, I have the, the distance, S is giving me, that is 6 meters as a distance. I'm also giving um, the initial velocity of the body, which is 3 meters per second, as you can see in the question. So, which means when the body is brought to rest, the final velocity is taken as zero. Of course, you need to put that down. If you do not include that in your list of parameters, you won't be able to proceed with the solution. Okay, so what I need is to find the acceleration or the deceleration. That is the required... Uh, quantity. So I'll invoke the second or third equation of motion, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. My v is 0, that v squared is 0, equals 3 squared plus 2 times my acceleration, that's what I'm looking for, times this, time, that's 6 meters. That gives me, um, this is minus 9, bringing 3 squared to this side, which is bringing 9 to that side. That gives me, this is 12 times a, that is 2 times 6. Okay, so my negative um, acceleration is uh, 9 over 12. That gives me 3 over 4, negative. That's 3 over 4, negative. That is minus 0 0.75. This is the deceleration because negative acceleration is always equal to deceleration. So we also calculate the coefficient of sliding friction. That is F is equal to M times A. I must find F first. This my F becomes a frictional force this time around. Yes, because that is what produces deceleration. So my F equals the mass of the body, which is 50, times my deceleration, which is 3 over 4. I can write it that way. So 4 year 2, I mean 2 year 4, uh, 2, that's 2 year 25. That gives me 75 over 2. That gives me 37.5 Newton. That, this 37.5 this Newton is my deceleration. Now the coefficient of sliding friction. Fr is the frictional force, which is the same thing as this 37.5 equals mu times m times g. So, which means my mu, which is the coefficient of sliding friction, is the frictional force F, which is the same thing as this 37.5 divided by the mass of the body times the value of acceleration into gravity. That gives me 37.5 divided by the mass of the body, which is 50 times uh, 10. That gives me 37.5 divided by 500, which gives me 0 0.075. So you may be wondering what happens with the negative sign. Negative sign here is just to show that the acceleration is actually deceleration. Negative acceleration is deceleration. So when I need it in this equation, I need here I'm looking for the magnitude of the decelerating force, the magnitude of the frictional force, and then, then I don't need the negative sign. Let's look at the second question. A car of mass 800 kg moving at a speed of 30 meters per second is brought to rest in 2.5 seconds by constant retarding force. Constant retarding force. That retarding force F is also given as mass times uh, deceleration or retardation. Okay, so calculate the magnitude of this force F. So which means I need to, my mass is given 800, that's the mass of the car. And then I need to find uh, the deceleration produced using one of the equations of motion. Here I'm giving the initial velocity as 30 meters per second. I'm giving the time as 2.5 seconds, which means when the body is eventually brought to rest, the final velocity is zero. So uh, I need to find A, which is acceleration or deceleration. Okay, the first equation of motion will suffice to determine the value of A. V equals U plus A. Uh, a t what's my v zero what's the u there 30 plus what's my a unknown what's the time 2.5 seconds so i have minus 30 when i take it to the other side it gives me 2.5 times acceleration 
my acceleration is going to be negative here of course that means this direction minus 30 divided by 2.5 so when i divide 30 by 2.5 i'm going to have the answer as um, 0. Point. i'm going to have the answer as 12 minus 12 meters per second squared is my answer so i'm ignoring negative sign because negative signs will show that what I have there is deceleration. And when I state deceleration, we do not include the negative sign. So the constant retarding force F from Newton's second law is given by mass times deceleration or retardation. So that gives me the mass is 800 multiplied by 12. So when I multiply 800 by 12, I have 9,600 Newton. So that gives the constant deceleration force that is acting on the car when it is brought to rest in this manner. Okay, let's take a look at uh, one more question. Here we are told that the body of mass 4 kg at rest is acted upon by constant force. A constant force of 20 to act on the body at rest, meaning that the initial speed of the body is zero. Whenever in motion or kinematics, the body starts its motion from rest. You don't need the suit here to tell you that uh, the initial velocity should be taken as zero. And then the time taken for this to happen is uh, that is to say three seconds. Okay, that is, is acted upon by constant force of 12 Newton for three seconds. What is the kinetic energy gained by this body at the end of that time, three seconds? So I'm um, to find the kinetic energy. I can call that E subscript A. Okay, that is uh, the unknown. And uh, you know that kinetic energy is given as a uh, half mv squared. So which means that uh, I have the mass of the body, which is given as 4 kg. Okay, I didn't write it down. Let me write it down now. 4 kg is the mass of the body. Okay, so I need to find the speed of the body. We're we'll using one of the equations of motion. That V equals, since I have um, U as 0 times T is this, I'm calculating my V. I can first of all find my acceleration. Acceleration is F over M. That gives me 12 over the mass of the body which is four that gives me three meters per second squared that gives the acceleration of the body three meters per second squared from this first equation of motion v equals u plus et i can determine the uh, velocity of the body so the velocity of the body is given that since body starts from rest that is zero plus three times what is the time again three seconds that gives me velocity of nine uh, meters per second so i come back to the equation for kinetic energy ek equals half mv squared that gives me half times what is the mass of the body mass of the body is four times nine squared that gives me two year one two year two that gives me two times 81 that gives me 162 euro so that gives the kinetic energy of the, this body in the next video we're looking at uh, the dynamics of motion along an inclined plane i'd like you to uh, stay tuned to see how I'm going to help resolve questions like that, issues like that, cases like that, that used to uh, give our students trouble. I will take time to analyze it. Thank you.